Good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm so excited again to do some morning cartooning with y'all. Um, hello, Lillian. Hello, Galaxy Master Prime 987. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, let's get started. So today we're going to do layouts and props. And this one's going to be really fun because we get to stay in bed while we do it. And you can just look around your room. And that's all you need to do. Um, and it'll be really simple. Okay? All right. Um, here we go. So our morning plan for today is we're going to do our quote of the day, like usual. We're going to do our art review. Then we're going to block in some shapes, and we're going to do a karate break or a stretch break. Then we're going to do some props and details, and we're going to do. I'm going to give you guys your challenge of the day, and then we're going to uh, sign you guys off. You know, we eat. Um, also, I apologize. Um, apparently, the landscapers decided to do the weed whacking right now. Uh, usually, they finish by now. So if you hear them, uh, that's just what it is in the background. I apologize. Um, all right, let's get started, though. So our quote of the day comes from Vincent Van Gogh. Now, I know we've done Vincent Van Gogh before, but he has one of the most famous pictures of a bedroom right here. And... Um, What's really cool about Vincent Van Gogh is that uh, his style is very like loose, very kind of rough around the edges. Um, and for his room, as you can see um, right here, um, I love how he uses colors where he like painted. I don't even know if his floor is actually green or if it's um, or if that's just like what he wanted to do because he saw so vibrantly with the colors. And so this is a really cool picture because right here um, we have the artist that made this. They actually made a recreation of this room. And so, ready? Let's count it down and you'll see something really cool. So pay attention to his room, the picture of his room that I have right here, and count it down. Ready? Three, two, one. Isn't that cool? So somebody made a real life version of his room that you can um, actually go to and like sit in and sit at his table on his desk and get a real idea of what it felt like to be in his room. Um, and so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to create our own um, bedrooms um, in our drawings today. And we're going to add all the little props that Vincent Van Gogh did. Uh, we're going to uh, include like any of the little like nooks and knickknacks uh, on the desk and the table, any kind of pictures that you have hanging on the wall. And it'll be a nice, cool kind of um, way to uh, look back on. I've definitely done this with my room, where you can look back and be like, oh, whoa, I remember what my room used to look like four years ago or a year ago even. Um, so let's do that. Before I have his quote, um, he said, I dream of painting, and then I paint my dream. So I dream of painting, then I paint my dream. Now, what I like about this one, and as we close our eyes and take some deep breaths, so take some deep breaths this way. Slow down. We're going to slow down a little bit right now. Um, even though you might already be slowed down um, and you might be just waking up right now, um, we're going to slow it down a little bit more. And then that way we can just calm ourselves and like center ourselves before we start drawing so we're in a good headspace. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Uh, okay, now we're a little bit slower down. Um, now, as you continue to take your deep breaths, I want you to close your eyes, but open your mind to dream about the future. So we're gonna think about the future, we're gonna dream about the future, just like Van Gogh said, because he paints what he dreams. So we're gonna try to see if we can dream up something really cool. So I want you to think of what you'd like your future to look like, where you'd like to live, the kind of person you want to be, and um, I want us to keep this in mind as we move on, just for right now, because we're going to draw. So you can open your eyes again, and, um, and now we're going to try to envision um, what our future is going to look like. All right. Um, now if you guys see in the chat, I'm also logged into YouTube so that way you guys can talk to us and you can talk to 
the CTM people if I can't get to you. Um, and let me see, I said hi to everybody. Uh, we have Zach is here. Hi, Zach. Hi, Carol. Hi, Joyce. I'm guessing Traden and Cohen are up early. You guys are troopers. They were in my class yesterday that I had. Um, and so they're, they're just like crushing it. Uh, like, um, so your emoji, your dabbing emoji. Um, I think it is a dab. I don't know if that's a cough. Um, hi, Christine. Uh, hi, Isabella. Hi, everyone. Um, glad to see you guys on. All right, let's move on. Ooh, let's move on to our next thing. So our art review is um, hands, expressions, and eggs. So that was last uh, last earlier this week on Tuesday. Um, we learned how to draw hands, and then we also turned an egg into a face by drawing lines around it, and then we did some of those drawings. So we see some pictures. Uh, let me move my face so you guys can see. This was Bailey. Uh, did this awesome hand finger guns, which is really cool, I like. Um, really nice job, Bailey. And I like how you drew the motion lines, too, for it. Um, and the circles for the knuckles. Very good. Um, uh, and then Zoe has one, too. And she did all the faces. And I like how you named him Bob, too. That's pretty funny. And, like, the guy with the mohawk. Um, that's pretty cool. And your hands are spot on as well. Very nice job. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on. <clears throat> uh, but before we do that, if you want to send your art reviews to your art to be reviewed for by me, uh, send it to my email, noahfontana at gmail.com. Even if I don't reply right away, I definitely keep track of everybody that sends me stuff so that I don't miss any. So if you send me one, I'll make sure to post it for tomorrow's class. All right. So that's noahfontana at gmail.com, and you'll be featured tomorrow morning um, on the episode. Okay. And going on, there we go. Now, we're going to switch to blocking in. Now, if you look at this little emoji that I created for blocking in, this is going to be... Um, this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to create our room, but we're going to keep it really simple and really uh, simple shapes. Now, uh, for an example of some rooms that aren't very simple, but uh, at how advanced as you can get, um, here are some really cool rooms. And if you look, they have all the different details of everything. We're not even going to get this detailed yet. We're going to work up to this, but we're going to try to create our room. So we're going to do like a little cutout version of that, as you can see. And so in this cutout version, um, we have um, three, two walls and one floor, so it's like three sides, um, and that's the same for both of them. So we're going to try to do that. We're going to start to block in the shapes of your room. Okay, let's go to my uh, tablet, and here we go. Okay, so right now today I'm working in Procreate, um, and I'm going to start on, I have a blocking in layer, and I have a details and color layer. So I'm going to, in my blocking in layer, um, or group, actually, if I should uh, correct myself. Um, I have a room and I have a prop. So we're gonna first sketch out the room size. So you follow along with me. Here we go. So let's draw. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Draw a straight line down. This is gonna be that far corner. We're gonna draw it out. And let's see, this will be the wall. So I think for example, I'll make this Let's see. And I think I'm going to try to do my childhood bedroom. So you guys can do either your bedroom right now um, or you can do a past bedroom that you've had if you want to like try to remember it. All right, let me see the comments too. Hi Kylie. No worries, uh, you didn't miss much. Uh, we just did our morning quote, which is Vincent Van Gogh. Uh, but you can always rewind that later after the live stream ends. Um, hi, Isabella. You guys are on the East Coast, so it's not really morning over there. It's more like afternoon, I believe. Um, Coonies are here. Hi, Coonies. Um, awesome. I'm glad to see everybody's here. Okay, so what we're doing right now, um, we are, and if you just want to look right here, we're going to make these rooms. And we're going to draw your own room, though, but with a cutout view. And this is a really cool job to have um, because 
as an artist. Uh, it's called layout design and also prop design. There are jobs for people that just really like to draw objects. Maybe they don't like drawing people as much. And so in animation, you need people that are going to design the bedroom. If you look, there are some really cool bedroom scenes in like Toy Story. Um, a lot of it is in his bedroom. And so you can see um, all the different posters on the wall. Somebody has to design all those posters. They have to design what kind of bulletin board. And so you really have to know your character well to be able to design their room. Uh, what's really cool too is that if you like to draw props, you get to like research toys, you get to research clothes, you get to research a lot of different things. And so if that's kind of like the thing that you like to do, maybe a layout or prop designer is um, the job for you. Um, there's a lot of different jobs in the animation world um, as opposed to uh, just just what people think is like an animator, um, making, the pre maybe making the characters move, but you could also do a lot of different things. Um, Actually, if you go to the CTN studio once this COVID-19 ends, um, you guys can check out. They have a lot of different books and references, too, that you can check out there. Um, and they have other activities for you to do there, too. But the references is what I really like, too, because uh, you get to see all these different kinds of layout designs. Okay, so here we go. Okay, I really want a bed that is like in the wall, if you guys know it. Kind of bed that is. Um, it, it, I think that almost sounds like kind of like a uh, not like a hammock bed. Let's see, Isabel. Let me see if you can draw that, and maybe we can we can all help you guess what it is. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller so I don't run out of room. Okay. So my bedroom when I was a kid. I'm trying to remember what it looked like. It's been a long time. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I can see it in my head. Sometimes, a lot of times as an artist, you have to really think it through in your head um, before you start drawing. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to draw. So make sure you think it out in your head, the angle that you're going to have it as. So just with some straight lines, we're going to block in the floor like this. Hold on. And now this kind of looks like a cube. Um, it's like an optical illusion because you can look at it as like a cube or you can look at it as like a floor that goes deep inside. So if we put a person like just as an example, if you put a person here or a person here, standing closer. That's kind of how I'm viewing it. So this right here is the floor. I'll leave these up. Okay, maybe this is me and this is my little brother um, because we shared a room as a kid. Did any of you share a room uh, or do any of you share a room currently? Um, okay, here we go. So there's the room. Now I'm going to add in some props. Now we're not going to actually do the details of the props right now. We're just going to do a couple basic shapes. So me and my brother, we had bunk beds. Let me hide this part um, of my brother. There we go. What I'm doing right now is I'm selecting them using the lasso tool. I'm going to cut and paste them onto a new layer. That way I can just hide them like that. Boom. Me and my brother had bunk beds. Let's see. So I'm going to cut out a basic shape along the side of the wall like this. I think this was. If you look, I'm just making a huge block along the wall. There we go. Okay. Now I know it doesn't look like a bunk bed just yet, but we're gonna use our imagination for right now. Okay? So that's gonna be my bunk bed. Uh, he was always on the bottom, I was on the top, just because I was older, I think. So we're gonna block it in just like that. There we go. Now it kind of looks a little bit more like a bunk bed. Okay. 
And I think I might need to make this floor a little bit wider. I misjudged that. So right now, this is like totally the sketching phase. You guys can adjust as you need to. Here we go. All right, I think that might be a little bit better for my room. Um, let me see, what else do we have? Now, if you guys are using your room that's just right there, oh, hi, Gloring, Le uh, Leslie, glad you guys can make it. Um, oh, you share your room with a rabbit, that's a good point. Okay, so definitely in the comments, um, and we're gonna get to this in a little bit, but we can start this now, actually, since we're doing some of the props. Comment the other things that you have in your, in your bedroom. Um, like what kind of other props did you have? Do you have a pet that lives in your bedroom? Do you have any, um, do you have like a toy chest? Do you have, um, and if you're an only child, that's totally cool. That's kind of fun because then you get to design your own room, make it how you like it. Um, hopefully, okay, let's see. I remember we had a toy chest like this. I kind of, it was like this. Or was it a toy chest? It was like these bins that you can put. So right now I'm just kind of like sketching really loosely, blocking in shapes. There were like these like bins that would hang diagonally like that. When you have all of our our X Men toys, uh, we loved like Marvel comics. Uh, growing up as a kid, like I grew up reading like Spider Man was my favorite. I think um, Iron Man is now one of my favorites, but I didn't really care for the comics too much. Um, I think I like Spider-Man because they talk about high school a lot, too. Um, you have a loft bed. Oh, that's cool. Uh, a doggo toy chest. Very cool. Oh, I love it. Bunk beds. Um, okay, I hope you guys all have a bed in your bedroom. Um, I think my brother probably, I think he has a mattress that he just lays on the floor. <laughs> um, no, he has a hammock, too. That's cool. If you have a hammock, that would be a fun one to draw. All right, let's see what else. Um, a massive TV. Oh, add that in. Playpen, desk, bed, crafting table. Okay, so right now all we're doing is we're just blocking in shapes. Um, it doesn't have to look good. We're just going to trace over this just like we've done in other episodes where we do a sketch and then we trace over that. Okay, I knew I had something over here. There was definitely a window. Okay, we can see that to our neighbors. So I'm going to draw the window in there. Um, can't recall if we had curtains. This is like a tough uh, memory game right here too. Um, I'm pretty sure we had a desk. I'm going to draw a desk. Oh, you know what? I think I remember. Okay, It was a desk that had like a top portion, so it covered part of the window. Let's see. I forget if this was in just my bedroom growing up or if this was me and my brother's bedroom. This was like a shelf where you can like like that, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna add, I don't think I had a lot of plants growing up, um, but I'm gonna add a plant on the desk too, anyway, just for right here. So, cause I think that would be fun to have. Do you guys have any plants in your bedrooms? <laughs> that's hilarious um yes definitely include your cat in there oh that reminds me okay so i had growing up um i remember we got uh from costco one of those really really big um uh alligator stuffed animals and so i had a huge alligator stuffed animal and it was in my bed um it was almost like one of those like huge like body pillows here let me see had his tail drooping off like that I called him Rotagilla, um, and Rotagilla is alligator spelled backwards, and so that's how clever I was as a kid. <laughs> um, you have a toy Hobbs? What? Where'd you get that? I want a toy Hobbs. Um, uh, a Teddy, uh, Iron Man, Spider Man. Yeah, those are those are good. Um, you have a Teddy room. Make sure you draw that too. Um, you could draw if you remember what kind of blank. I mean, if you or the drawing the room that you have currently, you can draw some blankets, um, or you can draw a past room that you had. For 
for right now. We're going to get to future rooms in a little bit and a little bit later. So for right now, just draw your current rooms. There we go. Um, I don't think I had a rug on the floor. Some of you might have like a, a little carpet rug, like a circle rug on the floor. Um, his name is Pat. Let me share it. One name's Penelope. Oh, that's so cute. I love that you share it. Um, Zoe, very cute. All right, so hopefully your rooms are looking pretty good right now. Oh, posters. We definitely had a poster. Okay, I don't remember what posters we had hung on. I think me and my brother changed it a lot, but we definitely, okay, so one time, we would do this uh, where we would ride our Razor scooters. Um, and I think they were like, we found them or like we, we got them um, like hand-me-down scooters. So I think some of us like didn't have handles or something like that, or we put like a stick in the handle to give it extra like leverage and stuff. Um, just so both of us could ride. And we'd always be like switching the wheels to make the, like the wheels that light up. Um, and so I'm not gonna put the scooter in there cause those are dirty and then we wouldn't keep them in a room, but when we were riding our scooters, we would ride down, I think on like Saturday mornings, and we would scooter down the block um, all the way into town to where there was a uh, Blockbuster video. And let me know in the comments if you guys even know what a Blockbuster video is. Um, I think most of them are extinct right about now. But we would raise your scooter down to the Blockbuster video and we would ask the people there if they had any movie posters that they would usually hang in their windows and if we could have any of those. Um, and a lot of the times if the, the show or the video game that they were trying to sell there was over and they weren't trying to promote it anymore, they would just have all the posters stacked up in the back. And so we would be able to keep the posters. Um, so I remember my brother had a Beatles poster for a long time. And then we, we got one that was like our prized possession, our prized jewel. And it was this huge Spider-Man from the, uh, the original, like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. And it was like a life-size poster of Spider-Man and I remember we hung it in a window on our front porch and you could see it all the way from the street and we got a couple of questions from our neighbors asking like who was standing in the window because all they could see at night was just like the shape of a human standing right by in front of the window but um but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna include our Spider-Man cutout which was about this big probably I'm gonna include him I think he was like posed like like that I'm gonna put them behind this chest right here because that was awesome. There we go, cool. So let me know if you guys have anything crazy like that in your room. I definitely want to see those in your pictures if you have that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, we're going to switch to um, we're going to pause for a second since it's almost about it's about halfway. Uh, now, after you guys uh, have finished with your blueprint layout, and that's why I use my blue colors um, in my sketch because um, it's a blueprint layout. Um, we're going to stop for a karate break. Okay, so shake out your arms. If you can stand up, stand up. I can't stand up just yet um, because this curtain is going to be blocking me. I'll be behind the curtain, but. If you can stand up, I want you to stretch your arms. Stretch your arms like, here, let me see. Here we go, we're gonna stretch your arms like this. I'll make me full screen so that you guys can see see what I'm doing. There we go. Stretch your arms like this, good. Stretch your arms to the right, that's good. This might even be the first time you're stretching today. So usually it's a good idea to stretch your arms. Now you can spin your arms around in a circle like this. You can go forwards and backwards. Just really get a good stretch. Um, hold your hands. This one is a good one for your for your tendons and your forearm. You can stretch your hands like this. Good. <laughs> like that. Um, and I'm reading your comments while we while we do all our stretches. Um, you're sewing your own doll, and it feels like a little sister. I just can't play with it yet till I'm done sewing. That's probably for the best. You don't want it to start to fall apart while you play with it. But that's so sweet. Um, I didn't. Um, I'm, that's cool that you know how to sew. Um, your grandma and mom made hobs. That's awesome. Um, if you can send me a picture of that in an email, including with the picture of your room, uh, definitely do. I would be very interested to see that. Uh, you have a big cat pillow from Costco. Yep, those are cool. Those are really fun. Oh, let's keep on stretching. Got distracted with all your fun comments. Okay, pull your arm. So what I'm doing right now is you're pulling your elbow down 
and that kind of stretches your arm a little bit. The same thing with your other elbow. Good. A hammock bed would be cool. Um, I used to have a rabbit doll that my grandma made for me, but then it broke, and I was so sad. Oh, I know. That's like I think that's why the Toy Story movies hit home so much, is that it's about losing toys, and losing a toy is one of the toughest things to go through as a kid, because that's like that's your world. That's that's what you that's what you want. That's what you always play with. You keep it with you by your side, and then to lose it is very sad. I'm sorry that happened. Um, Oh, so you're going to make your own. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Um, what, am I, is it, what? One of your friends is a life-size Danny DeVito cutout. <laughs> I could definitely see that being like something my brother would have in his room. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Um, making your own toys is actually pretty fun. Um, we, we used to make a bunch of paper mache stuff and like uh, make our toys. So that is a cool way to do it because then it feels very personal to you. Uh, a Star Wars poster. Oh, that's awesome. Is it like a current, a new Star Wars poster? Is it like, uh, like OG Star Wars poster? Um, or is it like a Mandalorian Star Wars poster? Um, let's see what else you guys got. You have a beanbag. Oh, that's cool. A beanbag would be easy to draw too. Just draw a circle and we'll just add some texture onto it in a little bit. Um, stuffed leopard that I've had for 11 years. Wow. That's Mr. Fuzzlebun. I love this one. Yes. It is cool when you've been able to keep the toy for so long um, and nobody gets rid of it. Um, definitely send, send, send me pictures of all these things. I'm so interested to see what they look like. And I love, um, and if you can include pictures of it in your drawing, like if you have like little pictures, I'll show you what I mean in, in a little bit. Um, but we can look at uh, how you can include those references like in your drawings. Okay, let's do um, our next stretches. Turn right. Turn left, turn right. Oh, uh, what? My mom made an art gallery of my work in my space where I do my homework and my art. That's awesome. If you have a nice space, a clean space to do your art, that's very helpful, I think. Um, and I've seen some people, I know that they've uh, they've hung their art up, the art up on the walls. Like if the kid, uh, if you or, or whoever it was made a bunch of the art, and then they can put little like price tags on it as if they're like selling them an art. So it's almost like an art studio for any friends that come over. And it's like they're selling it for like a dollar or something. It's really cute. Uh, Baby Yoda plushie, that's awesome. Okay, um, what else should we do? stretch? Okay, oh, let's pull our hands like this. So if you twist your hand, that, that kind of helps stretch your wrist, but be careful because that could hurt if you do it too hard. So stretch right here. Okay. All right. Cool. Are you guys all shaking out? You guys, did you guys take a sip of water yet? Take a sip of water. Cheers. All right. Now let's get back to our drawings. Okay. So now we're going to get into props and details. <clears throat> so for this part, as you can see, as opposed to our previous one, uh, now things are getting a little bit more detailed. Now we can add color to our drawings too. Um, I like to start out with an outline first and then we can jump into the color. To show you what I mean, here are some examples of some people that really did an awesome job drawing backgrounds. Check them out. Um, what's cool is um, I love the one at the, bed the bedroom in the bottom right corner with the fan because you could see all the different toys. You could see the textures on the walls. You put the fans and the books on the shelves, little fish and everything. It's just a lot of fun because you can kind of explore with your eyes. Um, you can see this weird kind of stuffed animal that he has on the ground. Um, the airplane that's hanging from the ceiling. But you could also do other rooms in, in your house. So uh, right above that, um, he has a... Uh, excuse me. Oh, sneeze. Um, uh, at the above that, you can see like a living room kind of set up. And to the left, you can see a, um, a bedroom set up, but it's like at nighttime where the light is shining and you can see the lights. So if you guys have lights in your bedroom, maybe you want to make your bedroom a nighttime scene. Okay. Oh, paint nights. Oh, that's cool. I never got to do paint nights um, with you guys, but yeah. Um, that's awesome that your grandma's teaching us. So Detective Pikachu poster. Awesome. 
Can't wait to see. Okay, so here is we're going back to our room. And now I'm going to start on a new layer. So watch. So this is our blocking in layer. We're going to put the details and color on top. So I have a background details. Um, and I have a props details. So we're going to also lighten these up a little bit so that they're you can't see them as much. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now it's a little bit cleaner. Now before I do that, I'm going to actually duplicate these because this is going to be props color. This one is going to be background. BG is short for background color. So we're not going to actually do the coloring yet. We're going to do the outlines. So I'm going to draw the outlines of the background. Let's see. Start with black, and then we can always change the color later. Let's do dragon. Okay. All right. All right, and here we go. So let's. We're going to start going into the details. I like to start with the room, just so we know. where everything is. There we go. Oh. There we go. Just drawing some straight lines. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Now we're going to go into into detail. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and we're going to let's draw. Let's start with the beds. Okay. So if I recall collect correctly, let's see. This is what our beds look like. And as you draw, um, try to think. Try to th remember all the details that you had in your room. Um, try to remember exactly how the, like. They were the rooms was hold, held together. Um, let's see. Okay. There we go. So I think there was yep this bottom room right here. Cool. And right now we're still keeping it pretty simple. We're just drawing straight lines. I forgot which way we're going with this. There we go. Cool. We could always draw over the layers later. So like right now I'm just drawing the structure of the bed. Then when we draw the blankets, we're gonna have the blankets come over on top of it. Oh, you're drawing your Lego dragons? Uh, so our dream bedroom, that's gonna be that's gonna be um, the challenge for today. So you guys jumped ahead with that one. That's totally fine. Um, if you want to follow along and draw your dream bedroom, definitely go ahead and you can try it. Um, That is a lot of fun. And that's also kind of like what Van Gogh was talking about, Vincent Van Gogh, when he was saying um, he draws what he dreams, which makes sense because his drawings are so dreamlike already. Cool.
Cool. Now you guys see how these are already looking kind of more like bunk beds? Uh, and if you're drawing your bed too, this is something that you guys can definitely do. So hopefully you guys are all tracing over your drawings. <laughs> so many cat figurines. Definitely do that. Oh, thank you for saying bless you. Oh, uh, Pringles on your desk. Is that what's on your desk right now? Uh, definitely. Oh, that reminded me. I should definitely draw a bowl of cereal. I always had a bowl of cereal when I was growing up. I was always eating bowls of cereal. Let's see. Now, if you're drawing this on paper, um, what could be a cool way to do it is to draw um, draw your props background. So draw like the bed and draw the, the desk and everything. And then if you want to add on top of it, because I'm going to draw it on different layers on the tablet. But if you're drawing on paper, you could actually draw them on a different piece of paper, color them in, and then you can move the plants and or whatever it is around. So for example, I'm going to show you just this part of the bed. Too close. Okay, so let's say I want to draw a pillow on top, or let's I'll do we'll do a fun one. We'll do my alligator, so that'll be a prop. So on top of this bed, I'm gonna draw the alligator, and I'm also gonna lighten this background. Hold a second. I'm going to lighten this background, that way we can still clearly see what we're drawing now. So I think his tail kind of hung over like that. There we go. You guys are funny in the comments. So many cat figurines. Why do you have so many cat and rabbit figure figurines? I think my grandmother, she always had, uh, or she might still have some of them. Um, a lot of like um, ducks or bunnies. I forget now, actually. Uh, lots, of, lots of bunnies, I think that's what it was. Um, a Johnny Folly pillow with cats on it. I have a dog. Definitely, if you have a pet, definitely draw it. I think I'll add my snake in somewhere because I had a sna pet snake and at the time, um, Star Wars Episode One just came out, and so I was obsessed with that, and I loved all the pod racing computer games that we would play, and so I named my um, pet snake Anakin. <laughs> um, that's how much I like Star Wars. All right, let's draw little scales, bumpy bump bumps, the alligator. He has these really cool, like, plastic eyes. It was awesome. I remember having like conversations. Do you guys have a conversation with your stuffed animals? Um, it's always nice to have like an imaginary friend. I think it's um, uh, healthy to like kind of debrief when you're going to sleep um, and talk about the day. So it was nice to do that with a stuffed animal. But let me know if I'm just totally weird and I'm the only one that does that. Did that? <laughs> Don't still do that. Um, Okay, now what's cool here, let's add some, we could add some color now. I think I want to use watercolor colors when I color him in, but you guys can use whatever you want. You guys can use colored pencils. Um, now I'm draw, I drew this on a different layer, and that way, um, let's see, flow around this map right here. Yeah, that'll work. 
and also when you're doing when you're choosing the colors try to really pick the colors that um, would work that are the colors of what it was because the colors will say a lot about um, will help you remember the character a lot okay oh you guys do that okay good I'm not weird <laughs> I mean we still might all be weird in that case but um, okay let's go uh, props color um, there we go now we're gonna color it in there we go There we go. All right, I think his belly was a little bit lighter too. Also, his eyes were yellow, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch to a little bit lighter yellow color. I think it was almost more tan actually. His eyes were really bright yellow. And his teeth obviously were white. There we go. Now, oh, let me fix his hand a little bit. Now, what I was saying before about uh, drawing it on a different layer. So if you draw your props on a different layer, or like if you draw them on a piece of paper, what you can do is you could cut them out and now watch this. I'm gonna call this one Rotigilla Alligator. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I spell it Rot Alligator. There we go. Rotigilla. That's what I called him. Now what's cool is now we have our alligator, or you can have whatever it was that you just drew, whatever stuffed animal. Um, now you can move it around so I can make him to be on the floor I can make him put him in the room So if you actually cut these out on paper You can do that too and you can move them around your room and that way you could kind of rearrange your room, which is a lot of fun Okay. Let's do Let's do a big background color so we're gonna We're just going to do a map. We're going to try to color the walls and color the floor and all that. Okay. So I think, let's see. I think our floor was, it's like a greenish brown or something. That's weird. I can't remember it. You know what? We did have a rug in our living room that was like really bright red, kind of like this. Or it was like a more, it was like a muted bright red sort of. Um, you have a huge unicorn stuffy that I got after surgery on your tear ducts. Oh, that's quite cool. If you have a stuffed animal that was from like a specific event, um, I don't think I got my alligator from anything specific, but that's kind of cool. I'm sure you're going to keep that unicorn for a really long time. Um, Blake, does your unicorn have a name? That's what I want to know. More than 30, 20 plushies. Wow. Our room bells with our owl decorations from Glory's Big Shower. Oh, that's cute. Um, Okay, so we had a room in a living room called the Red Rug Room because the rug was red. And uh, it was kind of funny that we just called it that. So I want to, even though my, I don't think my room, my bedroom had a red rug, I'm going to take from that, mix and match a little bit. Now, ideally, you would want to... Um, draw all the lines first before you start coloring, but just so that if you guys want to go ahead or if you guys um, are drawing different things than me, you guys can see what we're going to do next. So here's our red rug. I think, yeah, I think that feels about right about what the color was. I don't know why we had a red rug in our room, but we did. Okay, I think our walls were like a grayish blue. I 
And look, because I have the alligator on a different layer, I can color right behind him and I won't mess his colors up. There we go. And let's color in the bed too. I'm going to do this one on a different layer as well, if you guys are doing layers. Because uh, the bed is kind of like a prop, but it also kind of not. Um, let's see. And we still have to draw the actual like pillows and mattresses. Actually, let's do that first. That'll probably be a smarter way to do it. So there we go. I just muted the color, um, like hit, hit it, so that way we can uh, keep on working. Okay. Actually, instead of doing that, let's move on to the desk. Where I'll draw a bunch of props on top of it. And call this this layer is going to be desk uh, props. Props. There we go. Okay. So here's a plant. This is going to be a plant that I actually have right now. And then, um, there it is, okay. I'll do a miniature version of it. Cool. Do you guys have any plants in your room? Let me know in the comments if you have plants in your room. You just call them unicorn? Uh, that's funny. Uh, three stuffed puppies that I have to have as long as I can remember. That's cool. Why is your dog driving you crazy, Christine? Um, a teeny leopard when I went to the hospital because of an allergic reaction, I still have it. That's awesome too, a teeny leopard. Uh, that sounds like a cool stuff to have on. You drew your dog Cosmo on my rug? That's awesome, yeah, perfect. Cool. There's my plant. Here is my um, classic bowl of cereal that I would always eat. There we go. Uh, do you guys have a favorite bowl of cereal? It's their favorite cereal flavor or like a brand of cereal that you like to eat? Let me know in the comments. I think at the time, for a while, I was obsessed with like Special K. That was my jam. Um, so I'm gonna try to draw. When I do the coloring, you'll be able to see I'm gonna do some red spots for the strawberries that were in Special K. Um, there we go. So I always had Sharpies and pens and pencils. So let me draw some Sharpies. Cool. All right. A line that took the ER. Oh, you have a line that you took to the ER when you had your concussion. I'm sorry you had a concussion. I hope you're okay. Um, uh, the line, that's a good animal to take with you because lions are known to be very brave. So I'm sure it helped you um, be brave during that concussion. That's That could be really scary. Um, That's awesome. See, that's I think that's why stuffed animals are so great too. Is that you could take them to all different kinds of places, and it would always be like a little piece of home that's like comforting to have. Let's see, and I was always drawing pictures too. So if we want to draw these props, actually, let me finish drawing. I'm gonna finish drawing the the desk.
I'm erasing that part because this part of the desk comes out in front of it. How's it looking, guys? Cocoa Pebbles. Oh, Cocoa Pebbles. I remember when, actually, funny story. My aunt and uncle, they got married in California. They live out here. And I grew up in New Jersey. And so when we came out and visited them, I was the ring bearer for their wedding. And I was like little. I think I was like six or something. Um, or, yeah, I was probably around six years old. Um, and I remember... Um, I was just reading your comments, Puzzle Bun on Christmas Day when I was born here too. Wow, that is a long time ago. Um, and I remember when I was out in California, I had Fruity Pebbles. And like, we usually didn't get that sh kind of sugary cereal um, at home. Um, and so when I had the Fruity pe Pebbles out here, it was like the best thing ever because it was like sunny and it was like, there was uh, all this like kind of palm trees and stuff. We were right by the beach and I remember eating the Fruity Pebbles. And to this day, still want to eat Fruity Pebbles. It still re reminds me of that. and takes me back to when I first visited California when I was little. Um, that's so funny that you had to perform surgery on your stuffed animals so you had more stuffing. That's what happened to Woody too, right? In Toy Story. I also grew up on loving watching Toy Story, so that's why I have so many Toy Story references. Um, oops. Okay, we're going to finish up a little bit right here. We're not gonna be able to finish everything, but we're gonna get a good start. There we go. Oh, another fun, a last, uh, activity to, to try to do is that I remember this desk had two drawers right here. I remember I always I tried to keep them really organized. Um, I have all my pencils and stuff in them. And they have these little black knobs on them. So if you guys have drawers like that in your room where there's stuff in it, you could even do like an exploded version of it. And that's like when you can open out the drawer and then you can see what's on the inside of it. And now, of course, if we want, we could always color these in. Let's color in the cereal, like we said. Um, so that's the color of. For this one, I'm going to use the same pen to color, just so it's a little bit faster. There we go. And then we have our strawberries. There we go, now we got some special K. You have my Grinch that I had when you were one and I still have it nine years later. I lost so much stuffing, I didn't even put more stuffing. My aunt just had to stitch it up. Aw, but that's kind of cool. I kind of like the stuffed animals too when they're kind of like floppy like that when they've lost some stuffing. Frosted flakes are good. Fruity pebbles and pop, fruity pops. Yep, cocoa pops. Um, I was little, I like Lucky Charms, only the marshmallows, of course. Or anything with chocolate, yeah. Cocoa Pebbles are so good. Because with Cocoa Pebbles, it's like double treat, you know? Because then you get the good tasting cereal, but then you also get um, like the chocolate milk at the end. Okay, we're almost done, so I'm gonna literally, this is gonna be the last one. There we go, finish this pot. Cool. All right, it's coming together. Um, there's still a lot more to add, so I hope you guys continue to add uh, more stuff for yours. Um, and uh, for our challenge of the day, 
it is if you could have a room of your dreams, what would it look like? Um, and try drawing it. So do what Vincent Van Gogh said. Dream up something really awesome. Whatever you would want your dream room to look like. Uh, if it is um, shared with somebody or if it's not. Or if it has a lot of pets in it. Or, or a hammock. Or you had plants all over the place like draping down. Um, uh, yes. Try that out. Um, try drawing it. Um, and I think that'll be a really cool challenge for you to try to do. Uh, let me see what you guys are saying in your comments. Um, um, and maybe, maybe if you're, if you're, um, closer to my age, you can do, instead of like a childhood room, you can also do, um, a room that you had, like, what did you, where did you live in college? What did that look like? Did you live in a dorm room? Did you uh, share a room with a bunch of people? Um, and it could be kind of cool because then you could include this in like, uh, you could do like a scrapbook, you could post it on Instagram, you can look back and so you can see how your room has changed over the years and that's a lot of fun. Um, that was our challenge of the day and our, uh, let me know what we should draw next. Also, in these comments to the YouTube video, not in the live chat comments, but in the conversation, in the comments of this YouTube video, uh, after it closes, uh, I want you guys to write down tomorrow we're doing cartooning again. Um, we're going to be doing cartoon characters. We're going to draw characters and some animals again. So put in the comments what uh, characters that you want us to draw. I know we still have to do Snoopy. We haven't done that yet. Um, and I think we still have a couple animals too. Uh, I think we have to do wolves. Um, so we might do those tomorrow. Um, I'm going to try to make sure we get to everything. So we might have to do another comic book, like a, another cartoon character one after this, uh, after tomorrow's. But yeah, put them in the comments below what kind of cartoon characters and animals you want us to draw tomorrow. Uh, submit your drawings to noahfontana at gmail.com. Um, that way I can post them and post, send me them quick so that I can post them uh, for tomorrow's lesson uh, so that we can check them out all out um, quickly. Um, if you want to help support us, you can donate. Uh, we have a link down below that you can check out. Just click on the link and you guys can donate and that'll help us help me get like better cameras and stuff or a better backdrop <coughs> so that it looks uh, nice and clear for you guys to see. Um, and don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Um, that'll help us out a lot too. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm very excited. If you look at the top left corner, um, right up there, there. That's where our next episode is, Cartoon Characters Part 2. And uh, that's coming tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific uh, Standard Time. And I think that's 1, 1 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, have a great rest of your day.